I present to you the ultimate presets for Premiere Pro, a set of over 200 presets in 16 categories that will save you time when editing. Hi, it's Piotr, I'm the creator of Essential Motion presets that so far have been used by over 100,000 Premiere Pro editors across the globe. Quite a contribution when I think about it. I wouldn't be surprised seeing the astronauts on ISS using them. Okay, maybe, maybe I would be surprised, but I think it's totally possible. So the ultimate presets are like Essential Motion, but for any type of work you do in Premiere, not just for motion parameters. They also include the extended motion pack, which is like essential motion but on a boost. When I was creating them I really had two objectives in mind. The first one was to make the editing process faster and more enjoyable, and the second one to make them versatile, universal and as useful as possible. Ok, so let's see what's inside and there are like 16 types of presets, so right now I will just give you like a quick overview, but I plan to make more in-depth videos on all of these categories in the future. And together with the presets you also get like a video tutorial on how to install them, because it's not a plugin and it's not a plugin for a good reason, I will explain in a moment, it requires that you install them separately, but once you watch the tutorial it will take you like three minutes to install all of them and you're set for life. <laughs> the upside is stability that outperforms any plugin based approach because third-party plugins are often bottlenecks in Premiere Pro's stability and speed. So in addition to Essential Motion we kick off with extended motion presets. You've got another 32 presets that will give you more variations on the movement and the presets are less obvious, more original, they include like blurred edges, camera shake, stuff like that. Next we've got Essential Audio, which is a set of 16 presets. An example of Essential Audio preset that I use on every project is Make Room for Voice, which basically dials down the volume of the frequency range of a human voice. You apply it to music and sound effects, and this way the dialogues and the voiceovers stand out more. We've got Project and Folder Templates. They have preset track layout, some of them have audio effects applied to the tracks, and the bins in the project panel are created as well, so that you can get to work faster. Next we've got Essential Exports. 17 presets both for preview and delivery purposes, including exporting audio presets as well. I made them so that they are versatile and really they cover like almost every scenario that I could think of. Next we've got metadata overlays, so that you can see all of the information you need about a certain shot within a frame. I usually apply it to an adjustment layer, this way I can just disable the layer later on and it's very useful to know which take I'm working with, what's the time code, some of them even include like description information, very useful stuff. We've got guides that can be used for placing text on the screen or graphics or dividing the screen into equal parts and their resolution independent, aspect ratio independent so they will work for any type of sequence, any type of footage. Next we've got essential lumetry and those are by the way not like drag and drop solutions for color correction or color grading. I made them so that they will work for almost any type of already color corrected footage that you put them on. For example, boosting low saturated areas or giving like an overall boost of colors and sharpness, stuff like that, universal stuff. Then you've got my shortcuts file. I customize my labels in Premiere and for example I made them so that I can apply labels to clips with one press of a button. This also stands true for colored markers and I already made videos about shortcuts I use and my layout corresponds with that. Next we've got picture in picture presets, ideal for interview setups. They allow you to quickly divide the screen into equal parts. They're ideal for interview setups, either for two or four speakers. You can obviously customize and use it for free speakers as well. And then we've got labels. It's quite a new addition to Premiere that we can now have presets for labels. I made three setups of labels, all of them with a different purpose. And this one over here is about applying information on the shot size and the angle of a given clip. The next one is essential text styles, so that you can make good looking subtitles, captions or one-liners. We also have 9 track height presets to organize your timeline effectively and 6 metadata display presets to manage your project panel just the way you need it. And last but not least, Essential Miscolonies. They will speed up applying Warp Stabilizer, because I already changed the settings to include the detailed analysis, change the amount value and the type of the stabilization. There are also cropping presets over there and a few others that might be useful. Now this is the first pack that I don't give away for free, but they're very affordable in the same spirit as Essential Motion. And with the stability and no maintenance required throughout the years that you will be using them, I think it might be a no-brainer 
matter really, you can also request new presets that I just might add to the pack. At this price tag, it's a small investment with a huge return. Okay, see you in the videos where I will be going into details about each category of the presets separately. See you then. Bye.